Ha! You asked for it, and I answered. What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I designed, not for the purposes of this review, but to kind of showcase it. Now, a couple months ago, I kind of announced it, the 143 RTA. A lot of people, oh my God, over all these years have asked so much for a Gen V2, and I'm not really a big fan of of a V2, although, listen, even on my own product, that was super critical. You remember when I called out Brandon on the original Jenna? Of how many flaws there were and how the machining just had issues. And then even then on the review of my own product, I'm not going to do a review of my own product. Why the fuck not? If you designed it, I don't see why you can't review it. It should be perfect, right? Well, not not really. Look, every design is going to have a flaw, whether that's a car, whether you're going to try to make it as perfect as possible, but of course you're going to come up with shortcomings. And with the Jenna RTA, as much as that was a dream, it was never designed to be an RTA. It's just that I used an RTA, the Typhoon GT3. Never, I, I did use the four, but it wasn't the main thing, and that was my main RTA. So I had to make something that was my goal, was to eventually replace everything that I use with my own design. Like a two and through. Okay, I designed this. This is perfect. So what's next? And the only thing that I'm lacking is a single 18650, a JIO, which has been in the works for the past six months. And because you have to be different than everything else out there. And, you know, like the Jenna V1. This isn't really a Gen V2. It was, what could I do to make that better? Okay, a lot of people ask for mouth to lung. You can combine mouth to lung with open lung, but it, it has to be executed really well. But the problem was when we did the Gen, the, the, the Gen RDA, making them into an RTA without actually screwing anything on, you're kind of like reverse designing it. And it, it did, as much as it worked out well, I mean, over here, it's on the other desk. I use the Jenna RTA and that's all that I use and the Jenna RDA. So the goal was to make, I love the slam caps, make a slam cap rendition, but don't let the airflow be that low because I can't use slam caps because I got these big old jams and I get blisters on my lips from my lip either covering over the airflow or just having big jams and I can't suck any air in. So what I'm going to go over is I'm going to show you this. So the 143 is 143 of them made, not 145, not 150, from 001 or prototype 000 to 143. And it is an entire set. That is a deck, one single deck, one single RDA cap, and one single RTA. Instead of before, you bought the Jenna RDA, which people complain about, but 3,600 of them sold, and they were all made in America, 100%. Except for, I think, one O-ring, or the one O-ring from the 502. So it was the, wasn't the last, well, no, yeah, it's the, no, I think the Kennedy is still made. Um, I, don't, I don't think so anymore. Anything that he has is left over, but it is like the only American thing left for vaping that's made here. So we're going to go over it. I'm going to show you how each of them work and what I fixed on the Jenna V1 to the 143 to make it that much better. There are some variations of airflow. You will get more of a very restrictive direct lung or uh, a very loose mouth to lung without the inserts or with the inserts, you will get mouth to lung. So I'm going to bring it down, show you everything that comes inside of the package. It is extremely limited. Again, if you want to know more information about this, patreon.com slash jhaze. That doesn't mean that you'll get access to it. That's just for more information. It's like a Wikipedia page, but you got to pay to read it. I know you don't like it. I'm sure one or two will get out in a while as much as I don't want that because of the meaning behind this. If you have not watched that video, I suggest you watch that if you want to know the background behind the 143. There is a lot of meaning, and I don't want to waste any more time showing any of that or talking about it. So let's flip it. So on the right, you'll see the Jenna. On the left, you'll see the 143. The 143 is that much smaller. As much as you complain that the Jenna RDA was too tall, it really isn't. It just looks large because there's no etching or engraving or any logos on it. So I wanted to bring that down while keeping not the same style of airflow. We're going to have to switch it up. We don't want to essentially take the same thing and just make it a V2. So we have to change it. Wow, that's got a lot of scratches on it. So we made the deck a little bit shorter in height. And 
and we change the size of the screws to one step lower than what they were, it does come with an Allen key, and only make two holes because no one really used, as much as people did put dual coils in, they did it more with the M deck than they did with the stock metal deck. So it's two different styles of vaping. You could get open lung on this, but it's a restrictive versus this, you'd have to cut the airflow down versus on this, you would have it all the way open. So it's not the same RDA and it's not really a V2. It is different in a sense that you're going to get more... I don't want to say more restriction. You'll see the type of vape that I get off of this and your post screws on the opposing side. Now, keep in mind that this is stainless steel. And then if you look at a squonk pen on the Geniverse, the 143, it's about half a millimeter smaller. It's just that there's not that much threading around it like there is there. Also on this, you'll notice that your positive section versus your positive over here went across the whole deck. We wanted to restrict that just to so it was like a slide in and not the whole thing. Again, the Geno was the first attempt and there is flaws with the plastic insert. I absolutely hated them. So how do we change that? Well... This is a slam cap that has the aluminum built into it on the inside. You can't really separate this. It's just press fitted in. And then the regular one had the plastic inserts on the inside, which people absolutely despised, including myself. So the way that we fix that is we make that all one piece. Same type of airflow coming in from the side. And it's much shorter than the original Jenna RDA. The airflow is much more wide. So you don't have to worry about losing the insert and it's taller than a slam cap. But what you'll notice is the airflow is in line with the slam cap. So when you put your lips on this, you don't have to worry about your lips covering over this because it's a little bit shorter. Now, what's intricate about this? I mean, this doesn't look special at all. It's just that is your top cap. The original idea of the Ultim was kind of my attempt at saying, hey, you know, if your coil touches, don't worry about it. But people were melting those. So what did we do? We made the slam cap and then people didn't like those because they were too low. So this time we just kept it metal and made it all one piece. So you don't have to worry about any inserts. And it's essentially all one piece. It is be blessed on the inside versus on the top side. It's just regular stainless steel. And one of the major problems with this is as cool as it was for you to adjust your airflow with an A10. Uh, well... Custom A10s, different A10s, even the stock A10s, your airflow just seized up. And that's just basically what happened with me. And that's, it was a flaw in the design. It is what it is. How do you fix that? Well, here is your top section. And you'll see that the airflow is exactly the same as what it is on the slam cap. And this, while that just kind of goes in just like that, you're able to take a look at how the airflow is. You know my hexagons, the same way of the hexagons you got here. One, two, three, four. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six sides. First, not a, it's not a pentagon like the, the, the typhoon. Don't say it's a pentagon. It's not. It's got six sides. And this has one. Let me do it like this. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is essentially a locking nut. And what that does, you can still use... Your regular A10 drip tips, nothing is going to change. They all fit in. Now, well, that's got an O-ring in it. That's probably a bad idea. Let me show you one without an O-ring. You could still use your own A10. Some people do some wacky shit. And you may or may not be able to... Oh, that, well, that's tight. So that's a different A10. Not the biggest fan of that. You'll see that it does work and it does cover it. However, you still may be able to adjust your airflow. The idea... Wow, that's not coming out. The idea of doing it with a locking nut, because I love the drip tip on the A10 uh, of the Jenna. Okay, now once the top part is in and locked in, once that goes on, you don't have to worry about your drip tip slipping because it's locked in by that nut. And that just kind of spins all the way around. So you could spin it to the left, open it up, spin it to the right. Either way, you're able to adjust that to a very, very tight fit. Now, once this goes on, it kind of locks in the same way. It goes right into the ledges just like that. So once it's on, it should lock in. And the, the way that this is, is the same exact way. You guys remember this? See those little machine marks all over it? Looks kind of cool. Okay, so this now is the 143 RTA. Same type of deal. Now, anybody that owns a original Jenna, you know that your top comes off. I might pull the actual... And then that's how you fill it right there. Same type of situation with the Jenna, same exact dimensions. 
And that kind of goes on and you're able to adjust your juice flow one and the same once it's on. Everything you did on the original Jenna is the same way that it is on the 143. I'm able to open that up there. Maybe serial number might be on there. We might just serialize underneath the actual RDA because essentially it's a set. And the tighter you want your airflow to be is how tight you'll make this. I like it a little bit looser. I know there's a little bit of a seam, but you can get rid of the seam. And the more that you do this, the harder it's going to be. See, now there's no seam, but it's it's a little bit difficult to adjust your, your airflow that way. I mean, I guess you could do it either way. I prefer it a little bit looser, so I just unscrew it a little bit. It doesn't really affect anything. It just makes your airflow a little bit tighter. That's it. So let's put a build on the 143. We're going to swap it out with this, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on it. I've used it already, but 26 dual core with 36 on the outside. I can almost feel you walk, walk, walking in the distance, but I know that is not reality. If you are echoing around inside these parallel dimensions all alone, no, I'll find you in my dreams. This is going to hold about two times the amount of juice. You could see how much I squeeze that and how low that is. So this is the Jenna, and then that is the 143. That is a little crooked, but that's because of the mod. This is a prototype haze mod. And then there we go. That is the 143 RTA. Let's bring it back on top. All right, so back on top with the 143 RTA airflow all the way open. Now, here's the deal, right? If you do manage to get one of these, 26 gauge with 36 on the outside is the absolute thickest you could go. Keep in mind that it's changing. That's why it's not a Jenna V2. There's that much difference between the Jenna and the 143. Jenna is a very, very open, airy RTA. This is open. This is open. That is open, but the Jenna just has almost double of what the art, I don't know about double, maybe one and a half times more airflow than the RDA versus this, the RDA has more airflow than the RTA. This was designed for someone that likes either, again, and when I'm comparing open lung, I'm referencing like Chinese open lung. And this still maintains your juice flow where you can kind of dial it back if you don't know how to build. And this is going to be more meticulous to build than the Jenna because you're, you're making it... We're condensing the chamber as much as possible to really give you the amount of flavor. Okay, so, uh, you know, it's just that much of a different RTA. Sorry about that. I had a phone call. Uh, you couldn't pick a better time to call me. So it's just that much of a different RTA. So that's why it's not a V2. It's the 143. So all in all, it holds almost two times the amount of juice because the deck is smaller and the tank is larger while it's not that much taller than the original Jenna RTA. It's literally two different RTAs, but they kind of function the same as far as gravity. I'd give it a rating, but I'd be blowing smoke up your ass. Across the board, both of the RTAs, finding a Jenna RTA is going to be difficult. This has a meaning and it comes as a whole kit. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out.